stop being a slave for money now right now we're living in a world where everyone's chasing money endlessly money's in the top of everyone's mind money's in the top of everyone's list you understand like that is the most important thing for most people in their life not god family it's all about the money right now before i made the video down like i repeat money is a very important you need money to live a sustainable life to it determines the quality of your life and you're gonna need the money in order to have a good balanced happy life so i'm not putting money down i'm not dismissing money or making it seem insignificant i'm simply highlighting where we're at the collective consciousness of the world is at now see the first thing you have to realize is money yeah money in itself is a byproduct meaning that you do something in order to get money you don't you don't just walk down the road and pick up money or you go to work and pick up money yeah you have to do something you either work to have money you either sell a product you provide a service ultimately you're doing something and in exchange of that thing that you're doing you are you get you, you get money that's how it works so in that process people are doing what they do not want to do some people resort into a life of crime because they want fast money big amounts of money in a short period of time some people do a job that they hate like wearing a uniform wearing some clown shoes working hours they don't want to work for the sake of money so really you're sacrificing you're selling your soul to a degree because you don't want to do these things but this is what you have to do in order to live a life that you want to live right now Again, money is very important. I'm not dismissing money. We, you have to make money. Like I said earlier, if you're not, if you're not making money, bro, your life's going to be misery, miserable. And yeah, you're going to be struggling, especially now with the world changing, requiring more money. Cost of goods are going up. Cost of living is going up. You understand? So if you haven't got money, you're going to be suffering. That's a, that's a big fact. But at the same time, that doesn't mean we should sacrifice everything. You see, people are so focused on money but if you look at other avenues of life, God, they put God in the background. Like, yeah, okay, when I have time, I'll pray and I think about God. But I need, to, I need to go to work right now. Oh, family, yeah, okay, I'll see my family when I'm off work. You know, all of these things, to live a balanced life, you need several things. Physical, mental, spiritual, financial. People are so focused on the financial that they neglect every other area. Some people are overweight, eating, eating rubbish. Some people's mental health are, is messed up. But it's just about the money, it's just about the money. Now, if you if you walk this path, just money, 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 money is everything, bro. You're gonna pull, you're gonna die, bro, and you're not even you haven't even lived life, and your money's gonna go, tsk, regardless. You understand? Now, the reason I'm making this video is just to bring more awareness. Like I said, the collective consciousness. We're heading to a point where people are just worshiping money. It's like whoever has lots of money is a winner. Whoever has no money is a loser. Type shit. You understand? Which doesn't make no sense. Just because you have money doesn't make you a righteous person. Just because you have no money doesn't mean you're losing necessarily. You know, you might be losing the financial game, but that doesn't mean there's physical, mental, spiritual, there's other avenues of life. You know, it's all about living a well-balanced life. That's what we all should be aiming to live, right? So it's like, really think about it. Think about how much time you spend, like, going to work or making money and that. How much time are you spending on your health? How much time are you spending in the gym? How much time are you spending eating healthy food? How much time are you spend looking after your mental health? How much time are you spend like uh, worshiping or praising God? You see, if you look, if you, if you put it on the scale, like literally chasing money is all the way up here and everything else is at the bottom, which doesn't make no sense. That's why a lot of people are, are confused, mental health and, you know, living in agony. So you have to realize is that right now it's like a pyramid, like, if you look at everyone, every, at the top of the pyramid, everyone's trying to get to the top of the pyramid, make as much money as possible. You see, someone could be, someone could be like, let's say, obese and be a bad person and just be just a, a waste of uh, existence and that. But because they have money, they have power or they, ha they, they are respected, shall I say, in this world. You understand? Which really if you think about it, it doesn't make sense this is a bad person but he has money that's why a lot of people look up to these celebrities and rappers like oh god it's chain hundred thousand chain oh yeah two hundred thousand pound watch oh god lamborghini euros and that man half a million 
But if you take money away from a lot of people, they're empty inside. The, the only reason they're able to speak and feel good is because they have money behind them. Now, I'm not telling you to do, uh, not to go on the pursuit of money or not to make as much money as you possibly can. But what the whole point I'm trying to make is about living a well-balanced life. You understand? Now, for example, a lot of people are believers. So over 2 billion people are Muslim, over 3 billion people are Christian. Like... Nearly 80, 90% of the world believes in something, right? But think about it. How much energy and time are you spending on your connection with God? I know it's difficult because like, if you're living in, especially in a first world country, you need money to pay the bills like today, this week, this month. But if you're a true believer in God and you're putting money, you're putting uh, God in the background, like, yeah, okay, I'm going to make my money. They want to have a little bit of time. I'll think about praying then that doesn't make no sense. It goes against your beliefs in that. Again, how much time is spent working out? I don't, I don't mean to build muscle before your health, walking, exercising, drinking water, eating the right foods. You're not doing that because why? No, I need to go to work. That, that's long to make food prep, two hours cooking food. Now I'm not doing that. Rather go to McDonald's, two minutes, give me my meal, I eat it. So we're in a world of like, it's disarray right now. It's just confusion. Most people don't know what to do with themselves. Most people don't realize like what's what, what's important. If you look at most people's priority list, it will be money and then everything else behind it. It's not balanced. And if you're not balanced, then you're always gonna feel bad within yourself. You're always gonna have mental health problems. You're always gonna be, you know, struggling. See, money might be up, but you're struggling in other areas. The person who's good within himself has a has a has a balance to a degree. You cannot have again, if you have no money as well, then your life's not balanced as well. So it's a double-edged sword. You have to pay attention to several things. You have to be good at multiple areas in your life, bro. You cannot just be good at making money and then be obese to that. You, you cannot just be like, okay, have no money and then yeah, you're spiritually strong. Like it's a balanced life that is, the person who lives the balanced life is a joyful person. You understand? Now, like I said, most people are doing things for money. Right now you're doing a job that you don't like. Do you like the job? Do you like what you're doing to get money? No, you focus, you're just doing it because it's giving you that. So is your life going to be based off of wherever the money is at or is your life based on exploration and growing and balancing that? That's the question you have to ask yourself because if you do not ask yourself these questions and that, then you're going to be just a slave. Oh, okay, there's money over there. Oh, yeah, there's money over there. You're just running and chasing and you're just falling over and you're doing all of this type of shit for what, bro? Just so you can survive another day, just so you can have an extra zero in your account. You understand? Like I'm not dismissing money, I'm not ridiculing money, I'm not putting it down. I'm simply highlighting where most people are at in their life or in their mind, shall I say. You know? So, the whole point I'm trying to make is that if you chase money, you're going to be stuck in the loop. Going to work, eating food, sleeping, and back to work. Work, sleep, food, work. Like, you go around in circles, bro. The days are going by, the weeks are going by, the months are going by. And if you ask yourself, what am I doing with my life? But I'm making money. But really, you're wasting your life, bro. It's better, like Alan Watts says, says it perfectly. He said, it's best to live a short life doing the things, full of the things that you like to do, than to live a long life living it in a miserable way. Like, would you rather live miserably, like, every day waking up doing some shit you don't want to do, bro, just to survive, just so you can get to 70 and then finally die, or live a life full of exploration, and let's say you have a young life, 30 years old, 35, you're gone. But the whole point, this is just an analogy, you know, it's a metaphor. I'm not saying, like, go and pick, go die at 30, but the whole point is that, are you exploring, are you growing, are you increasing your intellect, are you connecting with God, or is it just money, work, money, work, money, that's it, that's all it is. What kind of life is that, bro? Think long term. If you continue the way you're going right now, where are you going to be in five years, ten years? Okay, maybe you, you have money, but you're not going to have your health. You see, in life, really, we look at it like everyone has their own like ranking system, bro. For me, God first, and second, it has to be your health. You understand? Of course, yes, you need money to, to be healthy before someone comments it, but health in itself and that is not necessarily money. It's like physical, mental health, what you put inside your body. You know, like, it's good that this is good, why it's good to sit down and reflect, sit back, sit back and think about what am I actually doing? Where am I going? Then you're going to get to these realizations and then you're going to start to govern your life the way you're supposed to. So you head to where you need to head to. You understand? So it's like, 
you have to realize that especially if you're going to work here yeah, there's an employee who's dictating your movement like if you want to go on holiday you can't go on holiday bro if, if you ain't got permission from that that guy that manager or a supervisor you understand if you want to have a week off bro bro you need to be asking you need to complete and you have to plead you have to explain why you want to have time off and that like bro is this shit crazy bro this shit is crazy when you really think about it it's absolutely crazy can i have one week off please and look at it no you can't and then what are you gonna do then you're not gonna have the week off or you're gonna face the consequences so you're still enslaved slavery is not over the, the slavery is mental like shout out to rrp xxx shall i say Slavery's mental. They got you mentally. You don't need to go to work, but you're not going to have money. If you go to work, then you're not going to have your time. You want to have holiday, you have to ask. So the point I'm trying to make in the video is that money is very important, but live a well-balanced life, guys. That's way more important, bro. There's, there's far more to life than money. Like I said, physical, mental, spiritual, financial, emotional. There's so many different avenues to life, bro. Still go to work and do what you need to do, but don't neglect God, don't neglect your health, don't neglect, you know, your family and other avenues I need, bro. If you don't, if you do all of these things consistently, your life's gonna be great, bro, regardless of, of how much money's in your account or not. But if you're chasing money strictly, that means your happiness or your joy strictly comes down to the amount of money you have in your account which is for most people. Once I have a little bit of money in there, oh, I'm so happy when they get paid. When the money's low, oh, I ain't got no money, man, I'm, I'm angry. Like, a man-made thing is dictating your feelings. So open your mind, open your like, consciousness, and just reflect, man. If you, don't, if you do not distract yourself, you're gonna come to all of these realizations. If you stop watching TV, stop scrolling on your phone all day, playing video games, and just doing loads of things, and sit down and you still, bro, you meditate, or you sit down in silence, bro. You're gonna come to er you're gonna come to the realization, and you're gonna find your path. You're gonna find what you need to do in order to live joyfully and live a well-balanced life. I appreciate you watching the video, man. Make sure to hit the like button, hit the red subscribe button, and make sure to leave a comment down below.